This is Cameron Chai from azom.com, bringing you another episode of azom.com TV. And today we're speaking to Celeste Jenkins from Agilent Technologies, and she's going to be telling us about their N6784A SMU. Hi, I'm here to tell you a little bit more about source measurement units from Agilent Technologies. Typically, even in material science research, it's also important to measure the electrical characteristics of materials and devices. And in this case, a source measurement unit might be the product that you would need. What a source measurement unit does is it's basically a precision power supply that can source very precisely and also measure very precisely so things that are, are low signals can be accurately tested. Um, our source measurement unit is particularly important uh, for um, items like silicon or polymer based devices like the solar cell panel that we have here. And essentially what you want to do from an electrical standpoint is make sure that a solar cell operates properly um, from a cell level as well as when it's integrated into a panel. And so um, if we take a look at a typical um, output from a solar cell, essentially uh, it's called an IV curve. And the kinds of parameters that we want to measure are things like short circuit current up here, or um, open circuit voltage, and certainly the power, because the real job of a solar cell is to be able to put out maximum power under different light intensities. So measuring these parameters is very important and SMU is easily, um, can easily help you do that. For the N6784A, what's really nice about it is first of all, it's a very modular product. So this um, product is a DC power analyzer and the source measurement unit module actually fits in to this mainframe. This mainframe can accommodate up to four modules, one of them being the SMU. It also can accommodate the um, 24 other modules that actually can fit into the system because very often in testing you need an SMU module plus other DC power modules to, to perform the test. Um, the other nice thing about this particular unit is that it's um, fully complete so no programming is needed if you want to use it in R&D on the bench and it has um, built-in DMM capability on top of the power supply capability, a built-in data logger um, and um, a scope kind of mode so you can see displays on the screen. So it has uh, plenty of capability integrated into one solution. You can also program it um, via USB, GPIB or LAN capability. Um, the other thing that I, I will say uh, about the N6784A is that um, while it does measure the output of the solar cell, it's also important to do other measurements that are physical measurements. And so what I also have here today is a 34972A data acquisition unit here. And this product will help also measure um, other uh, physical parameters of the solar cell like temperature because one of the things that can erode the efficiency of a solar cell is, is a, a temperature difference that's, um, that can cause uh, problems in terms of uh, its operation in its environment. So this particular product um, has some different cars that go with it. It has a built-in DMM, six and a half digit DMM. It also has um, switching cards as well as things like thermocouple cards that go in where you can perform these measurements and link it very nicely to uh, the N6705 and N6784A SMU. So thank you and I appreciate that you uh, coming here to visit and to see what we have here to offer in terms of SMUs. Okay, all right Celeste, thanks very much for your time and if anybody wants more information they can obviously go to your website. Yes, to Agilent.com. All right, thank you very much. Okay, thank you.